This is CNBC's live blog tracking developments on the war in Ukraine. See below for the latest updates. Explosions have been reported in the Ukrainian capital Kyiv overnight, with city officials stating that a missile attack is now known to have injured at least 12 people. Missile fragments fell on a kindergarten in one part of the city while several enterprises and residential buildings were damaged on other parts of the capital. Falling missile fragments set cars on fire in another district. A fire was reported at a transformer substation and in a two-story non-residential building in the Podilsky district as a result of falling missile debris. Russia's defeat in the war is a matter of life and death for democracy. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly address, We have to be resilient against various challenges, we have to be long-range to defeat Putin, and not be in a situation where doubts about the strength of the West help this madman, the president said Wednesday night. Putin must lose, and this is a matter of life and death for the democratic world, he added. Russia's defeat in the war is a matter of life and death for democracy. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly address. We have to be resilient against various challenges, we have to be long-range to defeat Putin, and not be in a situation where doubts about the strength of the West help this madman, the president said Wednesday night. Putin must lose, and this is a matter of life and death for the democratic world. When he loses, the democratic world will have a good perspective for generations to come, he added. Zelensky said he'd met earlier with Jake Sullivan, the U.S. national security adviser, with the officials having a very meaningful, very specific conversation about defense cooperation and about the joint political results that we have to achieve. During his trip to Kyiv, Sullivan said that a major U.S. aid package worth $50 billion that has been blocked by Republicans for months would get to Ukraine, Reuters reported. Explosions have been reported in the Ukrainian capital Kyiv overnight, with city officials stating that a missile attack is now known to have injured at least 12 people. Missile fragments fell on a kindergarten in one part of the city, and several industrial and residential buildings were damaged in other parts of the capital. Falling missile fragments, shot down by Ukrainian air defenses, set cars on fire in another district. A fire was reported at a transformer substation and in a two-story non-residential building in the Podilsky district as a result of falling missile debris. The number of victims increased to 10. Two of them were hospitalized. Others were treated by medics on the spot. In particular, six people were injured in the Shevchenkiv district of the capital. Four were injured. In Svitashinsk, Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said on Telegram.